today it's raining outside, but it's Wednesday and it's not raining inside. So I am going to water all my plants. I've decided to choose the day Wednesday because watering Wednesday, it's easy to keep it in my head and remember because I was having a hard time remembering to water the plants each week and remember when I watered each plant last. So that's what I'm doing. I've decided Wednesday's my day and I'm just giving each plant a little bit of water every Wednesday. All the plant watering is done and I'm just letting these drain out. Reading Olivia. You're reading Olivia? Yeah. Because it's raining, we've had to bring the laundry inside and I don't hang everything, but anything I want to keep nice and that I don't want to shrink, I do hang, so most of my clothes I hang. One thing I did the other day was I painted the inside of our fireplace and I'll show you right now how it used to look. Because as you can see, the people who lived here before us randomly spray painted all this white everywhere and it looks horrible. Here's the paint I'm using and it's for high heat. So I've been painting for about five minutes now and I realize this paint is really dark compared to the black that was all splattered. So it's becoming a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. It actually looks like a fireplace because it doesn't have the white sprayed over. So today I decided um, I would share this day in life with you and actually start going through some of the stuff I took from my parents' house. And the thing is that with decluttering, especially sentimental items, um, it can take a lot of time. And that's a problem, especially for me in the month of December. I find that's the busiest time of the year. And uh, I've just been putting this off, but it's been really bothering me because it's been sitting in the corner of my bedroom. And what I intend to do is just quickly go through it and get rid of what I know I definitely am not going to want to keep. And then I'm probably just going to put the bin into the garage for now. And that's where I'm gonna keep my bin of sentimental items. But all I have is this one bin, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, and I feel that I don't want to rush into getting rid of something because I fear that as I get older, I might want to see some of these, you know, things from when I was uh, younger or show, show my children. So that is one thing that I'm going to do, but at least it's going to get it out of my room and it's going to all be in one bin. I think what I'm going to do to make this a lot easier is I'm just going to take all of the photos out of these big photo books and put them into baggies and then that way it's not taking up so much space. And then I know a lot of people have given me some really good tips on the yearbook. And what I've decided to do is I'm going to go through and cut out any pages that I feel I want to keep. And then I'm going to recycle them if I can. And then I am going to keep my senior yearbook for now. And that's how I'm going to handle the yearbook situation because I just don't think I need these huge books. Uh, that I know I'm probably never gonna look through again. This is all the stuff I'm getting rid of. It's 10.30 now and I just made some coffee and I'm gonna get to work on my computer. I only have one hour right now before I have to go get Emmett, so I'm gonna see how much work I can get done and try not to get distracted by all the things that I end up doing around the house. from school and drop him off at his next little class that he goes to and that time flew by but I was able to get some work done so I'm really happy about that. Lunch is served. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich, grapes, and avocado. Is it good Calvin? Mm -hmm. I 
have my Bachelor's of Fine Arts degree and this is what it looks like when I draw something without some kind of reference. <laughs> Calvin and I just had lunch and we've been doing some drawing and I think he's just wandered off and turned the TV on all by himself. Um, I just wanted to I guess say how busy it is in the month of December. I don't really know why it's like this. It's like we wait all year and then cram every single party and get together in one month. And then I also took on two drawings that I'm doing, um, portraits that need to be done by Christmas. And then I have all the other stuff that I'm normally doing and then the website that needs to be updated. Right now, I think I'm going to um, do some reading to Calvin, go turn the TV off, and I'm gonna make some bread. I have it ready and all set up. And then I'm gonna see if I can maybe get some work done and set him up on a project as well. It's such a nice cold day for a change. One thing I got are these twinkle lights that I love, I'll link them below. And the reason why I love them is they're not that eye piercing LED look. I think they're still LED, but they're a little bit less piercing to the eye um, and they come with this little remote which is so awesome and they're not that expensive but let me show you you can turn them on with the remote it's really cold outside and i didn't have the heater on in here so i had to add a sweatshirt but i'm gonna get started on dinner now and it's finally home and i just want to get everything else in order in the house and as I was driving to pick him up, I started to think about what I really like about finding minimalism and simple living, intentional living. And that's the fact that it's okay just to have a slow, normal life. You don't have to do a million things in one day if you can't get to something that you shouldn't get down on yourself and just life is about enjoying the small things and if my kids want to sit and read books for an hour then that's okay let's just do that and enjoy it for what it is i hope you're having an amazing day if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to never miss a video and i'll see you next time bye